ஹலோ ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ டுடே லா லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் வி ஹவ் சீன் திஸ் மாடிஃபிகேஷன் ஓகே ஸோ வாட் இஸ் ஹெச்டிஎம்எல் ஹவு ஹவு த ஹெச்டிஎம்எல் டாக்குமெண்ட் ஒர்க்ஸ் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் அ வெப் பேஜ் வாட் இஸ் வெப் சர்வர் எவ்ரி திங் வி ஹவ் சீன் ஓகே ஸோ ஹவு டு ஓப்பன் நோட் பேட் ஹவு டு ஓப்பன் த வெப் ப்ரௌசர் அண்ட் ஹவு டு ஓப்பன் எ வெப் டாக்குமெண்ட் இன் web browser how to create a uh, web page by using uh, text editor so everything we have seen in the last class so today we are going to see this exercise okay so the book back exercise so html uh, came into existence in the year 1989 1989 option b and here you can see that Uh, <coughs> dash language markup language is use is a way of uh, writing layout information with, within the document okay markup language third one to open an internet explorer click on start all programs option b internet explorer to modify the html code click on view menu okay option c view menu and then click on source option by using the web browser option b web browser the documents can be viewed by other throughout the world around the world okay by others so when you when you upload a web document in the internet which means web hosting so this web uh, hosted uh, web document can be viewed throughout the world by internet by using this web browser okay next is uh, web pages are usually viewed in web browser true uh, html is a case sensitive language false okay even you can write in small smaller case letters or even you can write it in uh, upper case letters okay a text editor is a type of uh, program uh, used for editing plain text used for editing plain text files yes a text editor is uh, used for editing plain text files true uh, fourth one calculator is an example for web browser false okay web browser like uh, chrome firefox are the examples of browser fourth one the expansion of http is hypertext transfer protocol true so it's uh, given as false so change it as true okay the answer for fifth question true or false is true hypertext transfer protocol next is match the following uh, html was invented by tim berners lee text editor example for text editor is notepad web browser firefox is an example for web browser save option okay you have to save a web page by using the h uh, extension .html any file name .html is the extension for saving uh, web pages okay next is refresh you have to click on this icon uh, refresh icon or you can press f5 for refreshing the document okay so define html so this html um definition can be seen yes what is html here you can see that html stands for uh, hypertext markup language from there to the second point okay markup markup language is always is a way of uh, writing layout information within the document after that is enough okay second question name some web browser so you can write any any web browser you would like but you can see that some of the examples are given in our textbook so chrome firefox internet explorer opera and safari are the examples of the browser 
what is meant by text editor so in text editor you can see that there are some yes a text editor is a type of program used for editing plain text file from there to examples okay examples of text editors are notepad in windows operating system and dos edit in dos operating system okay up to that next is how will you modify the html code modify html code okay there is a topic which is known as modifying html code yes so here you can see that in page number page number 9 so this is the click on view menu and then click on uh, source option to modify the html code so this is the answer and you have to write up to f5 press f5 key on the keyboard to view the output after that okay name some advantages of html so this is also answer is there in your book yes here so advantages of html so you can uh, write any any five points any small five points uh, any five points of this advantages of html okay so thank you students with this we have finished today's class we will see the rest of the things in the next class we will start a new chapter okay we will we'll be starting a new chapter next week okay structure of html uh, introduction um, here you can see that since we have some time we will just uh, go on through this structure of html okay so this is the second chapter uh, structure of HTML. So, as we have some structure like head, body, legs, hands, every HTML document has some structure. Okay. So, in this chapter, we are going to see the structure of HTML. Okay. HTML is used to create web pages, including text, image, formatting, and other hyperlinks. HTML uh, documents consist of text and markup tags which are used to define the structure and appearance and functions of the information so tags are the basic uh, building blocks of uh, web document okay and html tag defines the type of information and is either a starting tag and ending tag or an empty tag all data of html document is enclosed between starting tag and ending tag and a html tag is a code that describes how web page is formatted html tags are enclosed within angular brackets okay so these are all the angular brackets less than symbol and greater than symbols of the angular brackets so the tag is given inside this angular brackets so the html markup tag are used are usually called html tags HTML tags are keywords, tag names surrounded with angular brackets. So HTML tags normally come in pairs, which means that starting tag will be there and the ending tag will be there. Okay. So here you can see that starting tags. Types of tags, starting tag, ending tag and empty tags are there. Uh, and HTML elements starts with the starting tag or opening tag. A starting tag begins with the less than uh, sign followed by the tag name and ends with the greater than sign okay so these are known as angular uh, brackets so here they can you can see that these are all the examples HTML body title and the uh, ending tag is same but you'll be seeing a 
ஸ்லாஷ் பிஃபோர் த டேக் நேம் ஓகே இன்சைட் த ஆங்குலர் ப்ராக்கெட்ஸ் பிஃபோர் த டேக் டேக் நேம் யூ வில் பி சீஇங் திஸ் ஸ்லாஷ் சிம்பிள் விச் டினோர்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் த ending ending tag okay or end tag and html elements uh, ends with an end tag or closing tag and end tag begins with a less than sign and slash followed by the tag name and followed by the greater than symbol this is same as the starting tag with addition and addition of forward slash so this is known as forward slash so uh, with this we'll finish the class today we'll see the rest of the different types of tags in the next class thank you students